Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Somebody has made a widescreen version of Super Mario World and it's amazing. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, Victor Villela, I think that's how you say their name, or Villela, I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, they created a patch for Super Mario World to run the game in widescreen, and it's pretty much the best thing ever. I'll show you how to run the game. First up, you have to come to github.com slash victorvalila7 slash wide dash SNES, and I'll leave a link in the description below to make your life easier. Once you're here, you can download the patch for the game. Currently, Super Mario World widescreen supports 16x9 and 16x10 monitor resolutions. More aspect ratios are planned and are currently work in progress, namely 2x1 and 21x9 ultra-wide aspect ratios. I can't wait till this version releases. Now, there are a couple of things to note here. First and foremost, you do need a specific emulator in order for this to work. You need BSNES HD. There are links to download it, and I'll go over that in just a second. This will work with the BSNES HD beta core on RetroArch, and that's a huge plus. The second thing here, this is a ROM patch, so you will need to patch your existing base version of the game. If you try to download this patch and play it on its own, it's not going to work. If you patch it incorrectly, it's not going to work. So you should follow this tutorial. It's really simple and straightforward and you should be up and running in no time. For the ROM patch, there are two files you need, the BPS file and the BSO file. The BPS file is simple to download. Just click on it and it'll ask you to save the file. It's only 96 kilobytes, it's tiny. For the BSO file, if you click on this link, it might bring you to a separate page. It depends on the web browser you're using. The easiest way to save this is to right click on it and then click save link as. It'll save as a text document. Now for the emulator here, to find out the specific emulator you need, just go to the important section and click the blue link where it says you must play with BSNES HD. This will bring you to the BSNES HD beta page. This is the proper emulator. There are different versions available. Uh, you can see Android here, Linux, Mac, and Windows. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna download the standalone Windows emulator and see how things go. To download it for Windows here, I'm just gonna click on BSNES HD Beta 10.6 Windows.zip. It's not a very big file, 4.6 megabytes. The next step is to patch your ROM. Now there are a number of different ways in order to do this. If you are curious on how to patch ROMs, I do have a video on it and I'll leave it in the description below. I do recommend checking it out. My favorite way to patch ROMs is through uh, this website here, again, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. All you have to do is select your ROM file, select the patch file, and then apply the patch. If you select the wrong ROM file, it won't let you, well, you can patch it, but it's just not gonna work and it'll tell you there's an error. So I'm gonna show you how to patch this and I'll first off start with the wrong ROM file to show you what happens when you select the wrong ROM file. To select my ROM file, I'll click browse beside ROM file. Now this first example, this is not the correct ROM file. It's Super Mario World E. This is not the right ROM file to use for this patch. And if I click the patch file, this is what I just downloaded. So SMW widescreen. You can see it says source ROM check some mismatch. This is letting me know that if I do patch this, it's probably not going to work. To patch the ROM correctly, again, I'll select browse beside ROM file here, select the file I want to use. And that's Super Mario World U, USA. The USA file is the right file here. The patch requires the USA version of Super Mario World. Now next, I'll click Browse beside Patch File, select the file that I just downloaded, Super Mario World widescreen, and then click Apply Patch. You can see the green check mark here saying everything's okay. So this file isn't very big, it's one megabyte. I'll click OK and now it's on my computer. From here, we have to rename a few things to get things to work. So I put absolutely everything just in one folder here to make things easy to show you. So I have the BSNES HD beta, this is the emulator that we just downloaded, SMW widescreen, which we downloaded, the BSO file, that's the one we right clicked and saved as. And we also have the ROM that we need. This is just the patched ROM we just made. From here, I want to extract everything from the zip file that contains my emulator. So I'm just gonna extract everything to this folder. Uh, the next step here is to rename some files. So I need to rename two different files here, this BSO file, and also my patched ROM. Now you can rename these files almost anything. As long as they match, they should work. 
If you don't want to rename SMW widescreen, just make sure this ROM is named SMW widescreen and then it should work. For this video, I'm just going to rename both and my screen's over there. Sorry, it's a little hard to show you because it's zoomed in, but I'm just going to call this SMW uh, W. So Super Mario World widescreen. And then all I have to do is just make sure the patch file is renamed the exact same here. So I'll right click again, S M W W. Good to go. So they're renamed the exact same here. I can boot up the emulator, load up the ROM, and it should be in widescreen. Once BSNES HD is opened up, I'll click system load game. I can change the controllers if I need to. I can change some settings if I want, but by default, this should open up to widescreen. So if you click load game, find your game and load it up, that's really about it. I'm not gonna show any gameplay because I don't want any companies getting angry with me. So. I'm just gonna stop it here. But anyways, that is all I've got for today. If you've played Super Mario widescreen, let me know how you liked the game in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.